The war in Ukraine continues to haunt Europe. With the fall of Bakhmut and Avdivka, Russia is now intensifying its attacks on other parts of the Ukrainian front line. Moscow's next big target appears to be to capture the Ukrainian town of Chasavyar. Russia is ramping up its offensive on Chasavyar after capturing Avdivka, and Moscow has said that its troops are just 500 meters from the Ukrainian town. Chasavyar lies just about 10 kilometers west of the destroyed Russian held town of Bakhmut. It is situated on the commanding heights, which is advantageous for its defense. The Ukrainian army used the town as a regrouping point and also as a forward artillery base for its own troops. The town gives control over the surrounding area. And according to reports, a Ukrainian official has said that the Russian victory in the city of Chasivyar will jeopardize the security of the remaining Ukrainian-held cities in the Donetsk region. The Russian military analyst has listed Slovyansk, Kramatorsk, Druvzivka and Konstantinivka as the fortress cities. They say that these cities in Ukraine's east will be accessible from Chasivyar, while the Washington-based think tank has described the cities as the backbone of the Ukrainian army's defense in the east. Now, according to reports, the Kremlin wants to capture Chasivyar before the 9th of May, the day when Russia celebrates its Victory Day Parade for its victory in the Second World War. With warmer weather now setting in, Ukraine, which is depending on the United States to release additional aid package, military package for it, with shortages of men and ammunition, Kiev fears that Moscow is now preparing for a major offensive across more than the 1,000-kilometer-long front line. The Ukrainian president has even reiterated that the country has run out of missiles. Now, Zelensky says that due to lack of air defense missiles, Ukraine is simply unable to prevent or thwart a Russian missile attack which destroyed one of their biggest power plants in the Kiev region. We ran out of all missiles that defended Tripoli. When someone says that our allies cannot provide us with this or that weapon, or they cannot be in Ukraine with this or that force, because that would be perceived as if Ukraine is engaging NATO in the war. Well, after yesterday's attack, I want to ask you a question. Is Israel part of NATO or not? On the other hand, responding to the French President Emmanuel Macron's call for a truce in international conflicts during the Parisian Olympics. The Kremlin has also reacted that Ukraine might use it as an opportunity to regroup and to rearm. The Kremlin has said that Russia hasn't received any suggestions to cease fire in Ukraine during the Parisian Olympic Games. And the consideration of such initiatives is extremely difficult. The request made by the French president has come as under an Olympic truce, suspending armed conflicts is a long-standing tradition. Macron believes that he can actually work towards achieving one when Paris hosts the Summer Games from the 26th of July till the 11th of August. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.